Hello, my name is Pete McPherson from doyouevenblog.com. Today we are going to go step by step on how to install WordPress on cPanel. More specifically, here is exactly what we're going to be doing. So first we are going to go through buying a domain and hosting, going through the checkout process and looking through your dashboard, two, navigating cPanel, what that is, what it looks like, and three, how to install WordPress or Weebly or Wix, how to install WordPress through cPanel. Let's get started. All right, first things first, let's get to it. We need to buy, purchase our domain name and our hosting. I recommend Namecheap as my first option mainly because they're cheap and they're reliable and they have good service. A lot of people use GoDaddy, that's absolutely fine too. Bluehost, same thing, really user-friendly, that Bluehost. But we're gonna do name cheap. I'm gonna type in the domain name I want. I already know what this is, Bloggin' Club, baby, bloggin.club. Hooray, it is totally available, so I'm gonna add to my cart, yay. I am totally gonna add some hosting now because you can't just buy the domain. So I'm gonna go down here and just click the cheapest because that is all I need. I just need one year. I'm in the US, add to cart, boom. Look at this, I get a free domain name, what? That's amazing, I want to use a domain in my cart, yes. All right, I'm gonna hit continue to go all the way to my cart. My total is $9.88, that's ridiculously cheap. Namecheap automatically protects some of your private information for you, who is guard is what they call it, and it's free right now. A lot of times they will charge you a little bit of money for this, like GoDaddy and Bluehost, et cetera, to hide your personal information. SSL is super important for your website if you plan on handling anyone's sensitive data. For example, if you wanna sell stuff and you're gonna be taking credit card information, you have to have SSL on your site. It's mandatory. I am going to go through my payment right now. Yay! Here is some manage buttons. These are key. So I'm gonna click manage on my hosting and I am in my Namecheap dashboard. Okay, it is time for part two of this tutorial, which is actually navigating cPanel, your cPanel account, and installing the WordPress or whatever platform you're using onto your domain and hosting. You need to go to your email in this email, they're going to give you a link, a username, and a password to your cPanel account. Uh, now, I can cheat because I've done this before. Login Club. Yay! It says, your hosting account has been successfully created, blah, 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 blah. And it actually gives me a link right here to my cPanel login. That's what you are looking for. And if you'll notice, the URL is my URL slash C panel. Boom, there it is. I am good to go. They email you your username and password. I'm gonna enter that in right now. Okay, I entered in my little username and password. Look at all this amazing stuff. So this is C panel. Let's do a quick tour. You don't need to know 90% of this. You just don't. You really don't. The point is this is where you manage the back end of your website. Right now there's nothing on my domain name, blogging club. There's nothing there. I want to install WordPress or Wix or Weebly or etc. Oh, and by the way, cPanel is used whether you do GoDaddy, Bluehost, or Namecheap. They might even have different names of some of these like little apps, but it'll be the same process, guaranteed. So what you're gonna do in your cPanel is come look for WordPress. It might be uh, under a little section called install apps or install CR. M, not CRM, uh, CMS or install, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna click WordPress right here. Uh, I don't really care about any of this other stuff. I don't even care what this software is. All I'm really looking for is to install WordPress on my site. And I see it right there, install now. And it's gonna give me a little form to fill out. I don't have SSL, so I'm just gonna click HTTP. That's the default. <laughs> Login Club, it already pulled up my domain. You might have multiple domains. You'll have to pick which one you want to install. I'm gonna leave in directory blank because I just want it to be blogin.club. Site name, I'm gonna put blogin club. Site description, the ultimate bloggers 
Paradise Club Resort. Multi-site, don't worry about that if you don't know what it is. Admin username, I am going to put in PNM326. Password, I'm gonna type a little something something in there. Admin email, I'm gonna go Pete at do you even blog.com. Choose language, English. Select plugins, I'm not gonna bother with this little thing. Advanced options, I'm not gonna bother with this name. Themes, I'm not gonna bother with any of these because they will have default themes. Oh, and I'm gonna email myself a little email myself a little copy. Do you even blog? Just to make sure everything was installed properly, and I'm gonna hit install. <laughs> It really is that easy. You're gonna pick your blog name, your, your title, your login, username, password, email. You're gonna click install and then it's pretty much it. That's, it's gonna do everything else for you. Yay, my WordPress is officially installed. You can see a few little details right here. It will probably send me uh, an email confirmation of this. And if I go back to my URL, Look at that, Blogging Club is up and running. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. One last thing to note is where you actually log in further to your WordPress dashboard. That's how you're gonna publish content, design your site, uh, et cetera. It is going to be your URL, blogging.club for me, slash WP admin. And in fact, so I'm gonna type that in and it's going to lead me to my WordPress dashboard login. I cl created my username and password on the last little step, if you remember, and I'm just gonna log in and I'm in. I'm completely done. WordPress is installed on my site. My domain name is set up. Hosting is taken care of for a full year. Only cost me $10 and took like seven and a half minutes. That's it. Well, that is it, boys and girls. If you liked this video, please like it using the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you would like to learn more about how to grow a blog that actually makes money and might even turn into a business one day, part-time or full-time, please subscribe and feel free to check out any of the other videos on our channel here or at our website, doyouevenblog.com. I'm Pete, out.